Is there any problem? No, no, no problem. I just need to get somewhere. Quickly. It's alright. But drive carefully, okay? Thank you. You need company? Um, no. Not this time. Thanks. so beautiful When you love and can't be loved Oh, when love goes away Life seems to come to an end It wasn't how I thought it would be The first time I met you You gave me hope and light And made my sun shine again Of it. Oof. 
fuck morality, Mary. What matters most is that Matt and Emerald have found in each other what people spend their entire life looking for, but never get it. Mary, look, I understand what you're trying to say, but I tried. I really did. What Max and I have is like, it's like destiny. We're like soulmates. It's almost like we found each other and we're meant to be. I couldn't stop it any more than we could, so hey, I gave up. Oh, how romantic. It's always making me cry. So I guess I gave up. I mean, I can see you're in love with him, so I wish you guys all this. Can you be? Really? I do. <laughs> I guess that was Clarissa on the phone. So when did you guys decide to pass things up? Wrong. Try again. I, I don't understand you. Is there something new? It was Emirate. Emirate. Wait, wait, wait. The same yeah, the same one, Smith. Fortune has finally decided to smile on your friend's face. Gosh, I love her. Nobody loved him so good. <laughs> you're in love. So you're in love with Emirate? Uh-huh. And the wonderful part of it all is that she feels the same way too. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wasn't that the same lady that didn't give you the time of day? The one that slapped your face? Twice, actually. Strange things happen. Yeah, you can say that again. Smith. You look more surprised than happy. What is it? Aren't you happy your friend has finally learned how to smile again? Now, well, you have to forgive me on this. It's too sudden. Well, now that you've decided not to, you know, give up on life. I'll say congratulations. That is more like it. Thanks. So when are we celebrating? Is it after office hour? Nope, I have a better idea. You call me first thing tomorrow morning. We meet up, I tell you where I am, you come over, you get to meet her, that's it. I would really love to see this, your Emirate. The one that got you so besotted. It's a date then. Alright, where are you going? Back tomorrow. Call the girl outside for me, please. No oh, I'll put air conditioner on before you go. It was really, really, really slow, but even slower after you called. Come on, what you mean? Someone come up. Ah, this is my very good friend, Smith. Smith, I'm not. I'm not Smith. Uh, Hello. Hi. Are you okay? Uh, yes. You don't look too good. Why don't you say I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you sure? Very nice to meet you, Mr. Smith. Uh, thank you. Um, thank you, Miss Emerald. No, no, no. What is it with Miss and Mrs. Tigre? Okay, you can call me Smith. Oh, that's better. Smith. <clears throat> I smelled something, was that? Uh, you'll find out as soon as I serve. Why don't you get him a drink and I'll be done. I'm done in the kitchen. Okay, Jackie Smith, you're staying for dinner, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, I was going on my way out. Um, it's, it was nice meeting you, Miss Emerald. I met his lover today. Finally turned the penthouse into their love nest. I have never experienced such rage as I felt when he was making a stupid introduction. So tell me, is she pretty? I, I 
I don't know. I, I was already filled with anger when I, when I met her. But I guess she is. So it has finally happened. Max has left me. Despite his promises never to leave me. Max has left me in the worst possible kind of way. I'm sorry, Clarissa. But I could kill that bastard for ever causing you this pain. Same way he could kill you if he ever found out what you did. About this time, three years ago. Hey, hey, hey. Please, don't even go there. I beg you, go there. But it's the truth. No one can run away from the truth. I've lived with the guilt all these years. <laughs> but now it's payback time. Max is going to pay me back for what I did. It's enough. Huh? There's no way to justify what Max has done. And he's still doing. And I don't think there's any... There's no way we could find out what really happened between us three years ago. So stop punishing yourself. Punishment, you called it. God is already doing that without my lifting up a finger. No matter what, I love Max. And I will not lose him to that woman. You will help me. Won't you? Smith, you will help me get my husband back. May I help you? You are the woman having a shameful affair with my husband, I suppose. Who are you, madam? And how dare you come in here to bandy such silly accusation against my girl? Well, madam, warn your girl to leave Max alone. Warn her to stop trying to snatch my husband away from me. Or else, I'll be forced to take drastic actions against her. What in God's name is this? Am I right? What is she talking about? Uh, do you know anybody called Mars? Uh, well, um, yes, Auntie, but it's not like she's making it out to be. Max, I, I, I... You're nothing short of an adulterer. That is what you are. Why don't you deny it in front of your madam? If what I'm saying is not the truth. Wait, wait. Emerald, is what she's saying the truth? Are you having an affair with her husband? I expected you to deny it. But no, we wouldn't. That goes to show how shameless you are. I may be crippled, but I'm not weak. See, this thing you're trying to start, you will not win. So I advise you to back down now that you've got time. I will not have time to speak to you again. So be warned. Max and Clarissa have ceased to be 
marriage long before I even came into the picture. He only married her to honor his father's wishes. And see, she's made his life a living hell. It has nothing to do with me. You are naive enough to believe those lies. Are you trying to tell me that you actually fell for his ploy to take him into bed at your age, am I right? Oh no, I'm disappointed in you. They're not lies, okay? I know for a fact. I, I know. How do you know? Even though, is it your business? Who told you that you have the right to take away her husband from her? Am I right? Why are you so heartless? I don't have the right, Auntie, but I've tried to fight this. I love who I love. I can't help it. Uh, listen to yourself. Am I right? Are you not ashamed to hear yourself talking in this manner? Am I right? Don't you feel guilty at all? I do, Auntie. But I don't feel guilty for loving Max. And he loves me back, Auntie. Try and understand. Am I right? I'm disappointed in you. I want you to stop that something I've said with Max. Nothing is wrong. Okay? We just can't continue like this. What are you trying to say? You know exactly what I'm trying to say. You know exactly what I'm trying to say. Stop pretending like you don't know what I'm talking about. This marriage was not supposed to be in the first place and you know it. Both you and I know we're not in love with each other. You are only hanging on me for the wrong reasons and if nothing is done about it, something bad is going to happen. So what are you planning to do about it? What are you planning to do about it? After thinking about it for a long time now, I have come to my conclusion and decision. Which is? I'm filing for a divorce. You can't possibly be serious. On the contrary, I couldn't be more serious than what is funny. I cannot continue with this marriage and neither can you because this thing is nothing more than a farce. To you this marriage may be a farce, but to me it's not. This marriage is a lifeline, a purpose to go on. And I will not allow you to abandon it just like that. Purpose to go on. Well. well that is a pity, isn't it? That is a big, big, big pity. I was hoping and praying that we settle this amicably. I am still hoping 
that you will find a reason to let this be. And I hope you do. It's a woman, isn't it? Tell me it's a woman, isn't it? A woman has nothing to do with this. So why, why would you just wake up one morning and decide to file for a divorce if there's no reason? Clarissa. Clarissa. I don't know if you are naturally obtuse or you do it intentionally. Whichever way, I don't care. But I'll really be shocked and amazed if you do not recognize the light that this marriage is. Stop fooling yourself. She told you, didn't she? She told you about the visit I paid her, didn't she? Is that why you're doing this to me? What? Don't act as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Don't act as if you don't know that I'm talking about none other but your mistress, Emeril. I will do worse than what I have done if she does not heed to my advice. Well, I think her mother looks very reasonable, so she will advise her daughter. <laughs> Shut up! Clarissa! Clarissa! <laughs> now you pray, and you pray suddenly, you hear me? Because if you do anything other than hurt her with your words, you will be sorrier than the word itself. You hear me? What to me? Stop hurting me! I am going to hurt you even more if you continue like this. Did you hear me? and I'm planning to start the proceedings first thing Monday morning. You will do no such thing, Max. I won't let you. Come on. This was the last kind of reaction I expected from you. I'm finally taking steps to end it with her just because of us and you say no. Look, I can't be the reason you divorced your wife. I'm sorry, I can't have that on my conscience amongst other things. Most other things like what? Is being with me making you guilty? Or you'd rather we continue like this than make things permanent? Uh, no. But Max, you know I don't feel an iota of guilt for loving you. And that's the truth. It's... It's just that she's on a wheelchair. Oh, it's true, isn't it? What is? She threatened you. That's not the point. But that is the point. She threatened you and now you're scared. I'm not scared, okay? Not of her anyway. Then of who or what are you afraid of? My godmother found out and she's not liking it one bit. I don't want to hurt her, you know how much I how much I care about her. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I cause any rift between you and your mom. I I know how much you feel about her. It's not your fault. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying, if I'm going to go on with you, actually, I have to have a blessing. And so now you see why I have to do what I have to do. I have to prove to your mom and everyone else how much I love you. It's just there's no just nothing. Emerald, if the 
you're not gonna trust me on anything, you have to trust me in this one. I know what is right for us and I'm gonna make sure we get it no matter what. Okay? Emerald, I love you. Life can be so beautiful When you love and can't be loved okay. Oh, when love goes away It's so nice of you to have paid me a visit. You don't have to sound that way, Clarice, yeah. You know I would do more, if given the chance. Don't start again with that. We can't gain anything by raking the past to ashes. No matter how you try to deny it, Clarice, yeah. There was more between us than in the past. See, I just, I just want us to, you know, feel the same way we felt three years ago. We had love us three years ago. We had nothing more than that. I came to you when Musa and I were having rough times. When I needed someone to assuage the needs, he couldn't. We committed adultery. Maybe that's why Max is leaving me now. Max is not leaving you. He's only having an affair. But why, why is it that you always talk so, so bitter whenever we're talking about our relationship? You, you knew those were the best two months of my life. You knew that. He is, you know. He already asked for a divorce. He did what? Yes. Yesterday he told me he's filing for a divorce. Despite his reasons, I know that that prostitute is behind it all. She must have told him about my visit to her. I had pushed him to do it. I'm sorry, my love. I could mend that bastard for doing this to you. But there's the hope. I love you. I will marry you the, 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 the next chance you agree to divorce Max. Smith, you, you tempt me with those words. You tempt me with those offers. But I can't possibly allow that cheap prostitute. I can't possibly allow that cheap prostitute to win. She can't have Max and be happy. Smith. I have to destroy their happiness. I must destroy them or I will never be content. See, I understand. But how is that going to be possible? You've, you've tried separating them once before. It didn't work. I'm afraid there's so much in love now. Smith, it's possible. Yes, it's possible. With you, it's possible. I promise to give you what you ask of me. But first, you have to help me destroy them. Yes, you have to help me destroy them, my love. Okay, baby, you have to help me. to come here and start crying. But it's just that I, I can't control my emotions. It's okay, my dear. Just try and hold yourself and tell me why you've come to see me. What's the problem? Well, I don't know if you still remember me. I am the woman who visited your daughter here some time ago. The one whose husband your daughter is having an affair with. I know who you are. All right, young lady. The question is, what are you doing here? I know you must resent me, Mrs. Davis. But I don't have anyone to go to. 
You are the only one who can help me. Help you? In what way if I may ask? <laughs> Mrs. Davis, I need you to help me talk to your daughter. <laughs> Tell her to leave my husband alone. Max is the only one I have. I don't want to lose him. Not to your daughter. Young lady, you accused my daughter wrongly. MRI doesn't have a hold on your husband. I made sure I put a stop to that. And that's a very long time ago. Mrs. Davis, if, if what you say is true, then why has my husband asked me for a divorce? Why is she still seeing him in their little love nest? You don't know what you're talking about. My daughter would never lie or mislead me. I'm sorry. I don't believe you. If you don't believe me, then ask her. Ask her if she does not know about my husband's intention to divorce me. Ask her if they're not planning life together immediately after the divorce. Mrs. Davis, your daughter is the one misleading you, not I. Life can be so beautiful When you love and can't be loved Or when love goes away Life seems to come to an end sunshine again Days is really going to feel like infinity, but first flight. I'm trying to survive till then. Sure. Can't do it. I miss you to death. I miss you too. What is going on here? Nothing, Nancy. Um. Good, I'm just saying. Good evening. Young man, who are you? Um. I just came to drop I said, who are you? I just came to drop it off. I'm just going to pay out. What are you doing in my house? Oh, um, like I said, I came. I don't care what you are doing here. Now leave. Leave this place.
the one that gave to you. You are still having an affair with Mas. Oh my God. I'm sorry, Auntie. No, you are not sorry. You've gotten all you wanted. Mas has asked the wife to divorce him. All because of you. Am I right? You are a total disgrace to the entire household. Yes. And listen to me for the last time. If you don't put an end to this rubbish, I'll cut you off. Completely.
I'm in Abuja and I'm supposed to be working. Everyone is surprised. What's this guy doing? I'm thinking about you, Emerald. <laughs> Can you imagine? My goodness, it's been so long. I miss you so much. Did you let me come here in the first place? What are we doing here? We're supposed to be in the house. I mean, it is more of holding you than putting food in my mouth. I just, you know, figured that you might be hungry after. Well, I am hungry. I'm very hungry. Actually, I'm famished. But not for food. It's been so long, Emma. Two days isn't that long, is it? Well, for you. What is wrong with you? You a bit, you know. What is, what is happening? I'm fine. Something happened while I was away, right? What happened? No, Emma, tell me. What happened when I was gone? I just imagine what I heard, right? I mean, stop playing. It's Seriously, not working. Seriously, stop playing. Listen, it's not working. We can't continue with this. Right? There was something I did wrong, right? I know. It was my trip. It was my trip to Abuja. And what I promise you, it was strictly no, business. No, no. I won't look twice at any point. I know that. I know that it's not a trip. My aunt. No, it's not just my aunt, it's everybody. Nobody's in support of this. It's just not working. We need to quit. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Quit! You want me to quit? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do after I quit? Oh, perfect. <laughs> All this was planned, wasn't it? You picking here was very intentional. I mean, your location is it's perfect. To break up with your guy in a big public restaurant, of all places, and your timing. Amazing timing. You wait so long and you pick today. Harder for who? Harder for you? Me? Max. Don't max me, goddammit! You think you can just walk into my life and talk with my emotions and never really throw it off just because you suddenly felt a guilty pang? Meaning what we share? How harmless could you be? If you are guilty of adultery, why don't you try the guilt of breaking a man's heart with such levity in a public restaurant? Tell me exactly how that feels.
you're next to it, don't hesitate When it comes to you, receive and love it You don't know when next love will come your way When you find true love, don't hold yourself back When you're next to it, don't hesitate When it comes to you, receive and love it You don't know when next love will come your way When you find love Hold on Receive love Losing up When you catch love Hold on Cause you don't know when next love will come your way When you find love Hold on Receive love Losing up Back. When you're next to it, don't hesitate When it comes to you, receive and love it You don't know when next love will come your way When you find true love, don't hold yourself back When you're next to it, don't hesitate When it comes to you, receive and love it You don't know when next love will come your way When you find Baby. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. So you are telling me how miserable my dear Max is over his breakup with his little love. You can take that from me. Max is so miserable. Even miserable is too little for me to use now. He has stopped taking good care of himself. Even his work at the office is suffering it. But anyone can see now how your dear Max is wearing his broken heart on his sleeves. <laughs> All for Emirat. <laughs> you know, it surprises me how a woman can evoke so much devotion on Max. When I spent all the years of our marriage trying to Trying as trying to make him feel as much as attraction for me. I hate it when you talk like this. Does that mean all I've been doing is in vain? Don't you know I can also give you all the devotion you need? See, listen, I can do more than Max, but just give me the time. Smith, I know. And I appreciate it so much. But I can't help being very bitter whenever we talk about them. This brings me to the next question. How soon can we execute our plan B? See, hey, 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 forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Let, let's stop all these issues about Mars and Emirat. Let, let's go away. Let, let's go somewhere far away. Somewhere that their memory will not be able to destroy our peace. Smith, I have promised you. I have promised you that I will go anywhere with you. But, please, we have to execute our plan, Smith. Please don't chicken out, please. Hey. Okay, baby. It's okay. It's all right.
so beautiful When you love and can't be loved Or when love goes away Life seems to come to an end It wasn't how I thought it would be The first time I met you um, This is the details of the assignment you're going to execute and your part payment. I'll give you the balance when the job is done. You do that. Make it snap. I don't like ready. No problem. You'll be hearing from me. I'll call you when the time is right, okay? The ball is in your court now. Make the call. Look, it's high time you just come out from this mood of yours. It's not the end of the world. Very soon you meet a dashing young man who, who will strip you of your feet and you'll be back again. Look, Emerald, I understand how you feel. Trust me, this is the best thing you've done. I know. I know. Don't you think I know that? Why isn't it helping? I, I, I feel worse. Hello. Yes, am I speaking to Emerald? Yes, this is she. I'm hmm? um, sorry, I don't, I don't think there's anything for you and I to discuss. Now this is where you got it wrong. It's about the divorce. If you're interested, see me at OJ's restaurant. Say tomorrow about 2 p.m. I'll see you okay, then. See you. Alpha, how did it go? I told you she would fall. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. That was a good one. <laughs> you guys will not believe this. That was Max's wife on the phone. Wolf woman, what does she want? I don't know. She, she wants to talk to me about something to do with the divorce. I, I mean, this doesn't sound right. Don't go anywhere. She sounded different. She wants to meet tomorrow. Have you forgotten this woman sees you as her worst enemy? I'm curious. I need to know what she wants to tell me. Besides, I'd also like to let her know that I'm no longer a threat to her. And if you insist. But now I know what my husband sees in you. You're truly beautiful. And um, uh, Mrs. Dickey. Clarissa. Call me Clarissa. Clarissa. The only reason I agreed to meet you out here is so I can tell you face to face that it's over between your husband and I. I know. 
sorry, you know. I said I know that you and Max have broken up and that's why I wanted to see you. You see, your breakup with Max is almost driving him to the deep end. He has not been himself lately and I feel responsible for that. But it's not your fault. If, if anything, Max and I have acted very irresponsibly and, and careless. But I'm sorry for everything and I hope everything gets better between both of you. Will it ever? Emerald, you were able to open up an amazing depth of love in my husband. That I realized that what I have with him is not even close to scratching the surface. It would be a shame if that love is destroyed. What are you trying to say? I have decided to give Max the divorce. Why? Because I will never measure up to you where Max is concerned. Max loves you. And the only way I can pay him back for all he has done for me is to give him his freedom so he can be with you. Look, you don't have to do this, alright? It is over between Max and no, I. Too late. I have already signed the divorce papers. I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. See, if you love Max, please go to him tonight. He needs you. Please go to him. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Max's wife is giving them a divorce and she gave you her blessings. Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. I know. I know. But then if you think about it, she must love him. I mean, I guess she's seen how much he's hurting. Just being apart from me and you know, she's thinking what the hell. She said all that. Yes, and more. Oh. Well, I'm happy. I just hope that Auntie will see reasons into this and understand the fact that Max's wife is okay with it and give her blessings soon. I know, I know. Because it's very important I get Auntie's blessings. I, don't, I hate hurting her. I understand. That reminds me, where's Max? And why are you not with him? Uh, I already called him. He was out of town. I should be back in a minute for now. And I'm going over to see him later. Well, I wish you all the best.
without coming back for me. I intend to spend the while with my husband. Okay. okay? Thank I'll you. See. so beautiful when you love and can't be loved oh when love goes away life seems to come to an end it wasn't how I thought it would be the first time I met you you gave me hope and life and made my sun shine again Try to take what was mine. Max was never yours. And you knew it. My God. How deceitful can you be? You mean you've been faking your paralysis all this time just to keep him by your side? How can you do this? What, what kind of a woman are you? The kind who will go to any length to protect her man. Didn't I warn you? Listen, Max would have been alive. You see, it's all your fault. Oh, stop that gun. It had one bullet, which was meant for you. But unfortunately, it missed its target. You're not getting away with this. Not this time. I'm calling the police. <laughs> Don't bother. I already did. You're going down for the murder of my husband. You must be out of your mind if you think the police is going to believe that crap. Well, your fingerprints are all over the modern weapon for a starter. And the story goes, you had an affair with my husband and you forced him to divorce me so he can marry you. And when he refused, you shot him. And just then, I wheeled myself in to witness it. Okay, go ahead! Fight me! Bruce me, pork! Cripple! It will never make my story better. <laughs> Officers, please come in! <laughs> Officers, this is the woman who killed my husband and she tried to kill me too! <laughs> mother, you're under arrest for mother. And I advise you. Keep silent. Or whatever you saw, do your baby just against him. Listen to me, I didn't do this. This, I didn't do. She's lying, alright? Just listen to me. You didn't do this. Then hold it. Silent. So, take her away. Let's go. Listen go. to me! Let's go, let's go. She can't get away with it. Not this time. Listen to me! Quiet, quiet! Quiet, quiet! Quiet, quiet! Quiet,
is so unbelievable. I mean, it's like something you read out of a novel. Uh, seriously, tell us. You're putting our legs, innit? No. No, I promise you everything I've told you happened to me twice in my dream. So... Okay. What does it mean and why are you having them? No. But I think it has to do with this ring. The emerald ring? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I hope this is not about my party tonight. Or the fact that I invited my long friend, Max. Of course not. I'm not even sure the guy in the cab is the same guy that appeared in my dream twice. And what if it is? You tell me that you can now read the future or you can dream the future? <laughs> Look, I don't dig into this idea or your story. Not when someone has to die. Look, does that mean the ring has magical powers? Well, the old woman seems to believe it does. And um, after everything I've been through, it's the only logical explanation I can think of. Christ, now we're talking magic. Could you two just give me a break? Come on, Becky. You can see she's quite shaking. What's the problem? Please. Okay, fine. I'm all ears. I can listen now. What does the dream mean? I don't know. I think you need to return the ring immediately. That I know. In fact, I'm on my way to that antique shop right now. I'm going to seek that old woman out and she has to explain to me what this is about. Anybody come in? Uh-uh, not me. I do not want to be involved in that, especially when someone has to die. Moreover, I have a party to plan. Hello, Michael. You know, I was supposed to have a with the kitchen. Besides, I think it's something we need to do. I'll see you. Yes, I know you would come. Um, I looked for you, but don't worry. Look, I don't know if you remember me. I was here two weeks ago, and um, I bought this from you. I remember your child. Good. Um, I'd like to return it. I don't want it anymore. Thank you. I can't take it, my child. The ring belongs to you. I gave it to you because you have been chosen. Chosen? For what? The ring spoke to you, didn't it? I, I saw dreams. I saw things. I don't... I know the ring had bought some powers within its glittering surface. It all happened some decades ago. A tragedy just exactly as the ring revealed to you. Just helping yourself to my mom's jewelry, no doubt. No, 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 no. I was cleaning the table and I was taking it out. Like hell you were. I'm sure your tail will change once you're faced with authorities. Come with me, you thief. What? Don't! How dare you! Don't call me that, I warn you. You warn me? And who are you to issue such warnings? You are nothing but a bloody thieving servant and make sure you're punished accordingly. Come here. Leave me alone! Let me go! Hey, 
Yes, mother. I found this servant with your jewelry. I've been trying to ascertain exactly what you're meant to do with it. What? Embrag or whatever they say is your name. What are you doing with my jewelries? I promise you, man, nothing. They fell to the ground and I was just picking them up before he came and accused me of theft. Lydia! Have you forgotten I know your thoughts? So think I believe you could be trusted. Don't you respect me, man? I may be a servant, but I'm not a thief. I've never stolen anything in my life. And I take exception to being called one. What insolence! I see. You have now grown wings to talk to me anyhow. But I promise you one thing. I will make sure you are put in your proper place. And from today onwards, you have ceased to be under my employ. Now get out. I said get out. Apologize to the Lolo and her son for your rudeness. What were you thinking, Emirat? That you had to talk back at the Lolo like that? I was accused of being a thief. They said I tried to steal Lolo's jewelry. What would you have had me do, Mama? Stand there and be convicted for a crime I did not commit? What you shouldn't have done was talk back at the Lolo the way you did. You should never have walked out on her the way you did. Emirat, for their kindness, we will be looking for jobs in the streets, please. I am fully aware of our position, Mama. You may have resigned yourself to that fate, but me? Mm -mm. I won't take any nonsense from anybody. Not even those who claim to be my employers. You will. No, I won't. Emirad, you will. God caused the stupid pride you inherited from your father. Eh? Let me tell you, despite your father's kindness, we still need this job. We still need this shelter. Please, my daughter, you have to go back there and beg the Lolo. Beg the Lolo and her son for forgiveness. Forgiveness for what, Mama? If anything, they should be asking me for my own forgiveness. I, I'm hurt. The fact is that if you are in Lolo's black book, it's worse than being in the devil's black book. Trust me, my daughter, I know that. Oh, please, Mama, stop going on. Please, my daughter. You have to go back, if not for anything else, but because of me, because I asked you, please, go and beg the Lolo and her son. Please, my daughter, please, hmm? please. I still marvel at the impudence of that wretched idiot to speak when I didn't ask her to, and with such other seats. I must say I was surprised too. More are you, mother, for being so lenient with that girl. She has so much pride and is good for a servant. What do you expect from a daughter of a wayward woman? She's an offspring of an adulterous affair. Well, that explains it then. No wonder she looks like her useless mother. I wonder why you still allow them to stay under your employ, mother. Her father was a very good friend of my late husband. Before he died, he extracted a promise to my dear husband to keep them here no matter what. And now I am beholden to that promise. That does not mean I should tolerate any insolence from that bastard girl. Of course, never. Not only is she insolent, but she's a thief and a liar. And I suggest you punish her as it fits. Don't talk too quick, Naomi. Mother, I may have been misconstrued by the situation. Maybe the poor girl was actually gathering the jury like she said she was. How could you say things like that, Maximilian? When actually you're the one that caught her in the act. But now I am telling you that I must have been mistaken. How could you? What have you come back to do, you wretched girl? Have you come back to insult me the more? You should know better than to darken that doorstep with your useless shadow. But that would be asking for too much, wouldn't it? 
since you seem to forget what you are. Mother, why don't we hear from the poor girl? Listen to what she has to say, then we can crucify her the second time. Hmm. All right, girl, say what you have to say and get lost. Your presence irritates me. I came to render my apologies, ma'am. I realize I spoke out of terms and I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I swear you should. You silly girl. I will not hesitate to throw you and your mother out of this plantation. If not for the promise I made to my late husband. Nevertheless, you've been given two weeks suspension. And after which, you shall be demoted to work as a kitchen maid in my kitchen. Mother! I can't believe you still consider giving her a job after all she has done. Have a heart, Naomi. You don't expect her to be thrown into the streets now, do you? Well, for all I go ahead. Don't worry. Don't worry, Naomi. I am granting her disgrace out of the goodness of my heart. Be warned. Any more incident like this, I will make sure you are thrown into the streets forever. And what do you have to say to that, you ungracious thing? Thank you very much, Mom. It will never happen again, I promise. Did you see the look she gave me, Mother? Don't you suck it, Naomi! Can't you see how she looked at me? You didn't see. Why do you always look for trouble when there's none? Of course there is trouble! already how I defended you up there and don't you ever talk to me that manner again you you what slave servant or bastard say it it's, a, it's actually a spitfire a beautiful spitfire Thank you, Mama, but you only say it's because I'm your daughter, and you know it. That is not the truth, Emerald. You know, the most beautiful thing about your beauty is that you seem so unaware of it. Why do you think your father gave you that name? Probably because every available name he had already given to his own children. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No? He always said that you reminded him of the fiery glowing fire of the precious stone. And you know, sometimes I get scared. God, everything scares you, Mama. Everything. You do not know the kind of world we are living in. If you did, you will understand why I am so afraid for you. Okay. I promise you, I won't be getting into any trouble anytime soon. Promise. Okay. Go get me soap. Let me finish my washing. Uh, To you, to my princess. <laughs> ah, well. Master Yes. I hope there's no trouble. No, no, nothing at all. Um, I just came to see your daughter. Is she in? My daughter? Yes. Emerald? Yes, ma'am. Did she do something wrong, no, sir? No, she didn't do anything wrong. I just came to see her. some washing to do. Let me leave you too. Yes, of course, ma'am. Are you lost? What are you doing here? I was wondering how long it will take you to keep the fire down. Have you come to insult me some more? Haven't you and your family done enough? Said enough? Well, on the contrary, Emerald, I have come to apologize. Apologize? <laughs> Please, don't make me laugh. 
Since when did the master of the plantation apologize to his servants? Well, since he bruised the pride of one so beautiful, she might as well be royalty. Pride? I'm a servant. I have no idea what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about, Emerald. But since this is not the right place or time to talk about that, I think I'll just stick to my rendering of my apology for my crass attitude this afternoon. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, seeing that you've already done that, I suggest you leave now. Very well. I shall do just that. I'll, uh, I'll leave you. For now. Naomi, would you please stop tapping your feet in such an unladylike manner? Lunch will soon be served, I'm sure. Yes. But how soon is the question? Must one expire from hunger before your servants learn not how to drag their feet? It is not too late past lunch hour and you know that. And besides, your servants are taking long owing to the fact that a hefty lunch you ordered for takes a longer time to prepare. Sweetheart, loving food is not a crime, is it? No, it isn't. But it is a disrespect you give to those who prepare the food that is. <coughs> Sir, ma, not you served. I should have known it was your turn to serve food today. No wonder it took so long in coming. I'm sorry, ma. It's just the extra orders you placed came at such short notice, hence the delay. How dare you imply that I have large appetites for food? Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm implying no such thing. I'm, I, I just meant... Do I look like I care what you meant? Now get out of my sight! How dare this you... It's enough! Let the poor girl be. Max! Are you trying to defend her? Did you not see? I didn't see anything. All I'm seeing is you trying to make a fool out of yourself. Emerald, you may leave. We'll call you when lunch is over. Yes, sir. Max! I will never forgive you for humiliating me in front of that maid just now. Never. Naomi. not impressed at all. You need to bring more men into the farms too. One behind that swamp and the other one behind the other swamp. Sir, you were saying something. Hello, sir. You were saying something. What? About moving more men. Yes, no. I'm talking about productivity. But listen, I'll talk to you about that some other time. Right now, uh, I'll have to attend to urgent issues. I don't know what you're going to do. You can wait for me if you want. As if I don't know what the audience is all about. You rich people always walk around thinking you have a right over everything. But don't worry. We shall see. Idiot. You walk like a princess, Emerald. <laughs> I'm really sorry if I scared you. I didn't mean to. I just wanted to talk to you. You shouldn't do. I shouldn't what? Be talking to me like this. What if someone sees us? Well, I don't care what happens if someone sees us. I, I just wanted to apologize for my wife's behavior the last time. It was highly unnecessary and uncalled for. Okay. Perhaps 
I should say thank you for coming to my defense like that. Well, you're welcome. Why did you do? I mean, defend me and, and, and offend her in my presence. Well, I, I insulted her, didn't I? I know I realized it, but I was too angry to control myself. You do realize that instead of saving my neck, you have won me a lifetime enemy in your wife. Oh. But I'm sorry then, I didn't know you were planning on becoming good friends with my wife. <laughs> Boy, you have this glow when you smile. You're so beautiful, Emerald. Why are you, why are you doing this? Emerald, you ask me why? Yes. Can't you see why? Can't you see what you've done to me, what, you, what you're doing to me now? I mean, I didn't know what to call it, but if not love, then what else? No. No, I'm not. I my intention. What are you doing here? You know you shouldn't be here. Well, I couldn't help it, Emerald, since you're determined at all costs to avoid me. I just passed by. Can't you? Oh. You think I'm avoiding you? Well? No. Just minding my place as a servant. And as the master of the house, you shouldn't be seen fraternizing with me. But I have professed my undying love for you, Emerald. It is you I love, and your position as what you are can change only if you, in return, my feelings. As what? Your mistress? Well, the issue of my marriage cannot change, but should we still be in hurt for each other? Look at ourselves in dying need just because of what? A union which was imposed on me for my position? Emerald, stop punishing us over emotions we have no control over. Please, I beg you, in the name of God, leave me alone. What you ask of me, I cannot give. I'm fully aware that anybody else in my position would jump at the slightest chance to be your mistress. But not I. I want my own man. Not some other woman's property. But I belong to you, Emerald. Body and soul. Naomi is only for me because of our names. You're the one who's captured my heart. And I'll do anything for you, Emerald. Ah. I love you. Anything? Anything. You would even condescend to giving me your last name in a second marriage? Me, a lowly bastard servant. Even if I was given three lifetimes, I'll profess my love to you three times. I love you, Emerald. Really. The amount of current it is driven by. You know, if, if you ask me, 
Max and I are victims of circumstances. I pity you. I pity you when I hear you talk of how much the young master loves you. He doesn't love you. He's just using you. After which he will throw you to the wolves. No, no, he loves me. The master loves me. I see it in his eyes every time I look at them. And I see that he's hurting as much as I am. It's just killing me that nobody can do anything about it. I tried. I tried to fight it. God knows I tried. You should have fought it harder. You should have remembered your station in life and fought against it harder. Like you fought my father 24 years ago. Hmm? I didn't think so. See, mother, it's a vicious circle. Maybe if you had forced your feelings for a married man, I won't be here to make the same mistakes you made. That is it. You should be ashamed of yourself, Maximilian, for not just thinking it, but going ahead to do it. How could you descend so low as to go into a, a, a servant? You watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Stop accusing this girl of things she hasn't committed. She's innocent in all this. Yes. The next thing you tell me is that she's from the same kingdom with Mary, the mother of God. But I tell you something. That girl is nothing but a whore. She's a tramp just like her mother, who could not close her legs to a married man. She is a whore. Shut up! Shut up! You hear me? Naomi? Naomi? Can you see me? If you push me any further to this wall, you will have to answer the consequences. I love Emerald, and anyone who tries to hurt her as much as with words would have me to answer to, and that includes you. <laughs> Away, you coward. Walk away into the arms of your prostitute. But I tell you something. I will not sit down here and fold my hands and have that girl take you away from me. I will not. to ask you one last time to do the honorable thing and just leave me alone but, but even as I ask it my heart dies a million times over the mere thought of it there is nothing you can do about it Emerald ours is an inevitable fate The total damnation that is sure to come. Do you really think we can withstand it? Overcome it? I love you, Emerald, and I must have you. My sanity is dependent on it. Whatever happens, happens. Whatever will be, will be. I want to know if you have given a thought to my request. And which request is this? I asked you to marry me. Don't tell me you're forgotten so soon. Look, 
I'm in love with another. I cannot be with two men at the same time, can I? Don't tell me you preferred your soiled reputation in this community as a kept one than being the wife of Ife, the spokesman of this community. You know, I won't bother saying anything to you. But you better watch what you say to me. Alright? Because I will not tolerate any insults from anybody, not even you. Now let me say this for the very last time. I would choose his master a hundred times over than have you lay a filthy finger on me. Watch your tongue, Emerald. Because I won't have you insult me either. Mm. I know what your problem is. You spent so much time being the master at fancy that with the fancy name that you've forgotten what you really are. A whore. Are you mad? I beg your pardon, ma'am, if my stare is offensive. It's just that I still have a tower and wish our resentment for your philandering husband brought us together. I may resent my husband, but I hate that witch Emerald, and I wish I could just kill her. Oh, you are paying me to do the job for you. Or isn't that the objective of this ungodly meeting? Yes, it is. I would rather she dies than have that common servant leave to use up my position as Mac's wife. I know that once this is achieved, I'll be able to get my husband's affection back. But looking at you and the master, madam, nobody will ever believe that you had affection for one another. Stop talking rubbish. Just concentrate and do what you're asked to do. I have my way around my husband. What you're supposed to do is just concentrate on the work, which is to kill Emerald. And if you ask me, the best time to do it is next week, during the workers' meeting. I don't understand you, madam. Why that day? Well, you see, the workers had had two demonstrations ever since they had their fight for independence. And everyone is anxiously awaiting the outcome of the meeting. And if it does not come in favor of the workers, there will be another demonstration which will be more bloody. And if she is killed on that day, her death will be most definitely be blamed on the workers, is that it? Of course. But won't you just agree it's a nice plan? Oh yes, oh yes, it is. And you are so clever for thinking it up. But tell me, madam, why will I have my kinsmen and probably my friends be blamed for this mother they did not commit? I know you are a rogue, Ife. Any man who accepts to betray a woman he claims to love would not hesitate to betray his kinsmen. Oh, how well you think you know me, madam. Yes, I know you very well, Ife. That is why I was able to give you what Emerald could not give you. I knew you would give in to me. Don't be too confident, madam. I'm not as predictable as you think. So speak up now. Would you do it for me or not? <sighs> no female has ever insulted me the way that girl did the other day. And I want my revenge on her. And since you so offered your body for my use, notwithstanding that I'm a mess servant working under your husband, I am beholden to you. So I say yes, I will do what you want. And you will not regret it. I will make sure that you are amply rewarded by cash and in kind. You are such a wanted man. Supposed to be ashamed of yourself for being so brazen with excellence. You dare not insult me. Oh, I do dare you, man. <laughs>
die, you philandra. What does it all mean? You saw the tragedy of a love found and lost. The love between your incarnates. The servant girl and her master. In fact, what happened to them was so bad, so tragic, that the blood of the innocent cried out with a painful betrayal. So tragic that the tears sped into time causing history to repeat itself a second time. So many decades after, giving you and the man in your dream a chance to make the wrongs right. The man in my dream? Yes. Okay, let me see if I understand this. So I'm supposed to fall in love with a complete stranger, start a love affair, um, jeopardize my life, my future and everything just so we can fulfill a fantasy of two people in the past. Is, is that what you're saying? It doesn't make sense. I refuse to accept that. I mean, it's unfair. And first of all, why wasn't I informed before being set on this meaningless venture? My dear, you can't question fate or decide to change the course of time. We go wherever we are prepared to. I... I don't believe this. But even if it's true, I didn't ask for this. Okay, because... I don't want to have to fall in love with a guy only to have the man I'm in love with killed and then I convicted for his death. Th that's what you're saying is going to happen, right? My dear, not if you allow it. It all depends on you. How? Explain how. You see, your second day was just a warning of what would have happened to you in the future. The damage done many decades ago must be repaired. It all depends on you. But if what you're saying is true, I don't want this. And if I may ask, what has this rig got to do with anything? It was not in my first dream, you know. 
Yes. The ring belonged to the servant girl, even though she never wore it. It was found in the master's pocket the night he was murdered. He was going to give it to her as a present. Emerald, you must go. You must fulfill your destiny. But, but I don't. What if I can't? What if I can't save his life? What if I fail? My dear, take the ring with you. It will guide you. But remember, you have been given a second chance. Good luck. Yeah, okay. Let me call you back. Oh. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Can I help you? No. Uh, yes, I... Is there any problem? No. Um, Why no. don't you come in and... Uh... No, it's fine. I, I have to go. I'm fine. Thank you. Bye-bye.